Good morning. You are listening to Upreach. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. Today, as we focus on the truth of God's word, consider these thoughts from God is No Fool by Lois Cheney. How does God's truth prevail? A large chunk of truth was placed right in the midst of men by the Almighty God, and men saw it and were awed by it and were humbled by it. They walked around and around it, looking at it, gazing at it, and loving it. Then they got organized. First they posted a guard over it, while others built a fortress for it. That was okay for a while. Then they decided to do more with it, so they sent in five wise, devout men to study it. They stayed in there a long, long time. Then strange and quarrelsome noises began to come from within the fortress, and out stalked the five men, red-faced and very angry, each with a large packet of papers under his arm. They walked off in five different directions, reading loudly from their papers, which said what the chunk of truth really meant. People scurried around, first listening to one and then another, And finally they grabbed up their belongings and followed after the one they liked the best. And they built little camps about a mile away and studied the pages of their chosen leader, which told them what the truth really meant. Things would be calm for a while. Then from first one camp and then another would come sounds of angry voices and scuffling. And you'd see several people jump up and walk off in different directions with fresh packets of paper under their arms that explained what the truth really meant. Again, little clusters of people would follow, and they'd establish fresh camps about a mile further off. This went on and on. Soon there were many, many camps for miles and miles in all directions, each with its packet of papers explaining how the truth really was. Sometimes they would argue and debate which of them was closer to the ancient fortress. Sometimes there'd be awful fights between camps, and the camp that won would proudly enlarge its scope of what truth really meant and pride themselves on expanding and perpetuating the real truth. Sometimes camps would combine their packets of paper. Sometimes some people would get weary with the whole thing and go off without any papers at all. They had established camps where the land was good, or the water was plentiful, or some other reason that certainly seemed more reasonable than setting up a camp around some silly papers. Every once in a while would come a wanderer, usually all alone. He would wander through the camps or skirt them and would wind up coming right up to the neglected and overgrown fortress and walk right in and stare at the real chunk of truth. He would gaze and gaze at it and pick it up and handle it and stroke it and then set it down and walk right out and start strutting all over the place, glowing and carrying on, and generally throwing camps into confusion. He would do all sorts of old-fashioned things in old-fashioned ways, grinning and humming all the while he did it. And that's how God's truth prevails. What about you today? Do you know and understand the truth of God's Word? Are you faithfully building your life upon it? This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. I hope to see you there. Howdy, y'all. My name is Will Brown. I'm the youth minister at Church Street Church of Christ. I want to invite you to our Vacation Bible School. This year our theme is Paul's Perilous Adventures. So saddle up as we ride with Paul through his wild adventures in the days of the early church. (laughs) PBS kickoff will be that Sunday night at 5 p.m. Come get a big old tater with barbecue. Mm -mm. And classes will start at 6 o'clock. Monday through Wednesday, we'll start chowing down about 5.30 with classes starting at 6.30. We'll have classes for kids, teens, and adults every night. And by the way, adults, we'll have Bill Watkins that will be our guest speaker for your class. Make sure to mark your calendars for June 4th through the 7th for our Vacation Bible School here at Church Street, Church of Christ. Yeehaw!